It's now come time for us to gather around the Lord's table. And it is the Lord's table. We gather here not because we're perfect. If we had to be, none of us would be here. But because we seek the Lord in His perfection. Not because we're righteous, but because the Lord is righteous. Not because we are perfect in love, but we need the Lord's love. Not because we are strong, but because we are weak and need the Lord's strength. And so the Lord set this table for His people. Scripture tells us that they'll come from the north and the south and the east and the west, from out of every tribe and tongue and kindred and nation. And they will sit around His table together. And so today, the Lord's table is open. And all of God's people, all of God's children, are invited to come. Which means you are invited and welcome here. Let us pray. Lord, indeed, we thank you and we praise you for all of your goodness. For the goodness and beauty of the creation that you made which surrounds us. We thank you for creating us to be in communion with you. And we thank you that when we have fallen away and left and gone to on our own ventures away from you, that you did not leave us to go, but came after us, and in love have sought us out. That you sent your prophets to show us the way and to tell us the truth. And in the fullness of time, your only begotten Son, Christ Jesus, came and dwelt among us and taught and poured out his blood upon the cross, pouring himself out and shedding his blood for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord, rising again from the dead, he conquered sin and death and opened the door to heaven for all who believe in him. And so, Lord, we gather here around his table. And as we gather here, we realize that it is not just us in this room who are here, but our brothers and sisters in Christ all around the world. And that as we gather here, we are lifted into your presence. And so those who surround your throne are also present. Lord, also present are those who wish they could be here but cannot be. And Lord, we lift them up to you this morning in prayer. We lift up to you those who are ill and those who are facing medical battles and those who are undergoing treatments and preparing for treatments and recovering from treatments and illnesses. We ask, Lord, that you would pour out your perfect healing on each and every one. And that as you do so, you would also pour out your perfect peace in their hearts and the hearts of their families that love, support, and surround them. We pray, Lord, your blessings upon each and every one, regardless of what the issues are we face. That, Lord, we would know you are Lord and Savior. You are our answer, regardless of whatever the problem may be. Lord, place peace in our hearts as we lay our burdens at your feet. We pray, Lord, that you would bless this communion, this bread and this fruit of the vine, that in this communion we would be lifted into your presence and there commune with you and gain strength from your blessing. And so, Lord, we ask your blessings upon this table as we gather together. And all this we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. On the night in which he was betrayed, the Lord gathered in the upper room with his disciples. And after supper, he took the bread, and he blessed it, and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in like manner, after supper, he took the cup, and he blessed it. And said, This is the cup of the new covenant, sealed in my blood, shed for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. And as often as we eat of this bread or drink of this cup, we do show the Lord's death until he comes again. And with believers of all ages and places, we do pray, Lord Jesus, come.
body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for us. Lord, we know the words of the prophet who spoke saying that by the stripes the Messiah would bear, we would find healing. We know that our Savior Christ Jesus bore the stripes upon his back in the crucifixion and that we are healed by what he has borne for us. We'll pour out your healing body and soul <coughs> by each and every one. Christ's name we pray. Amen. Christ shed for us. Lord, we know that by your shed blood we are forgiven. And help us to remember the cost of our salvation and your willingness and love to pay that cost. Help that, Lord, to inspire our spirits to serve you in love and to show that love to everyone that we meet, no matter where we go or what we do. Lord, thus strengthen at your table. Help us to serve you among the people in our community and wherever we go. And all this we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught his disciples to pray by saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.